Hello, I'm Eric Steinoff and I'm a physicist. Physicists can be found in a lot of different fields, very broad. It's essentially the people who are interested in figuring out how the world works and uh, basically doing research and figuring out the secrets of how things happen. I teach physics and I also do research in my specific field on condensed matter, which means I look at things like semiconductors, which make up cell phones and computers. I look at light emitting devices and I do laser spectroscopy. But we're trying to figure out a specific problem where this, this uh, material is emitting light. We're trying to figure out exactly how it's emitting the light and why it's doing certain things. So we design experiments to figure out what's going on specifically. Then what we'll do is we have to analyze the data. So a typical day would be we, we take a whole bunch of data over a few days, then we need to sit down and analyze the data, talk about what the results mean, design new experiments to figure out whether or not we really understand what's going on. I've always had a desire to figure out how things work and try to build things out of these. So I would have to say that the fundamental spark is a desire to sort of know how something works. I need to know how something works. And I think that's true of most physicists. Our job is essentially to try and figure out how something works, try to figure out the, the essence of things. At the end of high school and even at the end of college, there were still things I didn't understand. And so I decided this is kind of, I, I want to just spend my life trying to figure out what's going on. Trying to solve really difficult problems is just very rewarding. A bachelor's degree is usually enough to at least get some physics related um, job and a lot of times that'll be uh, anything from a computer programmer to a research and development to biotechnology firms. In my opinion when you're hiring someone who has a physics degree you're hiring someone who can solve hard problems and so that's what uh, a lot of these companies are looking for. I'm lucky that I actually get to use my education pretty much every day. One of the reasons why I like to teach is that I really don't think you truly understand something until you have to teach it to someone. So I'm fortunate enough that I get to go back over all of the stuff that I took as an undergraduate, think it over again, and then present it to the students. And so it helps me solidify my understanding, but it also allows me to use the knowledge that I've already got. I would say step one is really desire to understand how things work. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend talking to people who are doing things, and, and you'd be surprised where physicists are. I worked for a year in a company as a computer programmer, and there was another um, guy there who had an undergraduate degree in physics. Um, and so you'll find people who've had a background in physics in many, many different places. If you're near a place that's doing physics research, talk to people who are doing the research. See if you can do an internship. Try to get into a lab. I think it's a great experience just to see how people do research. Uh, in basic research, a lot of what we do is to try and find effects and try to find um, things that are going on that have never been seen before. Initial sort of, hey, this is something that nobody's seen before in the world, that I think is one of the most exciting things. When you actually understand something that hasn't been observed before, it, it's kind of a rush. You really do feel excited about it. But of course, everything really does start with a basic understanding of what's going on. So having that freedom to investigate things that are just interesting, I think is probably one of the best aspects, one of the most fun aspects of the job. But it's also one of the most important aspects of the job. Um, understanding quantum mechanics and semiconductors has led to computers and iPhones. And all of these things, for example, like the laser, started as basic research. People were just curious. Within basic research, like we're doing here, we've got people working in uh, theory and experiment, or sort of broad categories. I'm an experimental physicist. There's people working in astrophysics, uh, nuclear physics, biophysics, like I said. Once you get out of the basic research, which is done typically in the university setting, you'll find people in research and development, you'll find people in biotech, some people go into the medical field, uh, some people go into Wall Street, do financial modeling um, on, on things. Pretty much anywhere where there's a difficult problem to solve, you may find a physicist or a scientist there. I'm fortunate enough that I, I'm able to do basic research in a laboratory and have a group, uh, a full group to work, uh, which is wonderful and fantastic, but in a lot of ways it's actually kind of like running a small business. So I have to manage the people who are going, keep the projects moving forward. I also have to do uh, financial paperwork, so these are things that are not necessarily always fun, but you know, they're unavoidable in every job. So 
I would say sort of the day-to-day -day kind of bureaucratic things often are difficult. But hey, it's part of the job. It's very easy to get discouraged. The way I kind of look at it is, you'll get discouraged, you'll find a class, uh, quantum mechanics for example, the first time you see one of these things, you'll be completely lost. You'll have absolutely no idea. Personally, I still read certain papers and it takes me 10 times to read the paper to understand what's going on. If you don't understand something the first time, you're not alone. Pretty much every physicist, the first time we've looked at something, we went, how did that, I don't get it. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it the first time. It usually takes two, three, four, ten times before understanding how something works. Ultimately, I would say, always stay curious.